Hey traders, John Hell here. You know who it is. Your number one market trader on the planet, right? And uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna say anything. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm laughing because I've got a lot of bumblebees that have been in my chat box for the last week. I'm gonna be very quiet with this video. Actually, you know what? They're probably not. They're gonna come out and still call me an idiot and a moron and stuff like that, but that's okay. <laughs> Traders, what's going on with the stock market today? What's been going on with silver and gold? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this is dropping. This has come out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so if you've been watching my videos for the last week, you'd know that I've been saying a few things in the markets, right? And I've been just trying to give you warning signs and I've been trying to teach you what I'm looking at that's giving me that conclusion that we're getting to that point. The first one was obviously the stock market, right? Look at the NASDAQ. Look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ today has retraced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. The last seven days, and we're coming to an end. This rally that we're here is over, and the pullback has started. Now, we don't know how big the pullback is going to be or whether it's just going to go sideways. But the rally is done. Put a coffin on the, the grave for that rally, right? It's dead, gone, see ya. The, the drop has started. And for those people who have been watching and listening, I've been talking about how we've been so far overextended now to the upside. And I talked about, and how I, how I was getting to this point, and I was, and I was trying to, trying to save a lot of bumblebees from trying to buy the market right now because that's what the market does, right? What does the market do? It goes up, 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 up. And I did I even did videos. I'm like, last few suckers in and then they're going to drop it on your ass. And look what happened, right? I did that two, that video a couple of days ago. Last few suckers in and then they're going to drop it on your ass. And look what happened here. And that was, and then look, what, look, look at the market, all right? Just lots of red today. So the whole thing about this trade is, and it's like, it's not that just I got lucky, right? I just, I use simple analysis. As you can see, I, what, this calling here, and even on, even when it comes to like, you know, gold and silver, like look at the silver. Silver's almost, 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 silver's almost making a double bottom. Um, John, you get it wrong all the time. Well, I hope you're not long silver and gold right now in the stock market. Um, <laughs> so we had this movement through here, but the whole thing about why here, guys, is that is uh, um, I want to reiterate some things that I talked about that give me advantage on giving me probability on something that's coming down the road, right? The first one was actually, firstly, you can see how I don't use a lot of indicators. I just use, I use volume, but forget volume, not even yes, use volume here. The what, how I've used, how I've, how I saw this drop coming in the stock market and how I saw the drop coming in gold and silver was from just one simple moving average. We don't need to complicate it, right? We do not need to complicate it. Now, what do I mean by one simple moving average? I ha if you look at the past, I've talked about in the past that the moving averages gives us a bit of an overbought, oversold levels, okay? So if we get, if we squeeze our charts up, if you can see, if we get too far away from it, we generally get these pullbacks in the markets, right? Too far away, pullback, too far away, pullback. And the same thing through here, right? And as you can see, look what's happened through here. We had this very big move up, and then now, we have, now we're getting this pullback, aren't we? We're getting this pullback right now as we speak. And now why are we getting the pullback? And I've been saying for the last week, we're getting too far away from the moving average, and the mark, and the moving average just gives us that too much, over, it's overbought or oversold, right? So if we get too far above it, like up here, or up here, or up here, if we get too far above it, we're, we're likely to be getting a pullback. And I've been saying that for the last week or so, um, that we're likely to get a pullback, and that's exactly what's been going on. It's very simple analysis. We don't need to complicate it, right? It's just about probability. And that's all I've been doing. And, and so if you wanna know how I saw this drop coming, all it was, it was just for the last week or so, I was like, okay, we're now getting pretty far away from the moving average. 
And in the in history, it doesn't get too far away before we actually pull back in the markets. That's step number one. So if I go over to the gold and silver market now, and I look at the gold and silver market, how did I see the drop in the gold and silver market and in, even in the mining sector and so on and so forth? Again, by understanding one, there's so much power in just one moving average, right? As you can see, I don't have stochastics and overbought and never sold and Kelter channels and all that sort of stuff. You can, you, you can, you can uh, trust me, traders, I've been doing this for 18 years, right? You can go down the biggest rabbit hole of using all these indicators. You, 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 uh, put it this way. I used to use, actually, you know what? Let me actually see. I'm going to bring up a chart that I used to, I'm going to show you what, what my chart used to look like. Uh, where is it? Where are we here? Because I've had this, I've had this software now for over 10 years. Um, here. There we go, right? So actually, you know what? Let's actually bring on the, uh, stuff. here we go. This is how I used to trade. <laughs> yep. It's, um, oh, look at this here. We're getting some, you know, some, we've got the stochastic, got the RSI trending up. Yep. Uh, we've got, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Stochastics. This is actually called a double stochastic, by the way. Um, hang on a minute, the stochastic's overbought. How come the market didn't go down? It's still overbought. How come the market didn't go down? And now we're actually getting 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 that sort of divergence there, right? We go to the S&P 500, oh my goodness. Well, we're overbought. And see the, look at this here. Oh, we're overbought, overbought. Yeah, it's like overbought, overbought, overbought over, oversold, overbought, overbought. Now I'm not saying you can't do well from using these indicators here, but look at this. Look at it. It's a whole bunch of stuff on here. I even, I even got the the Bollinger Bands going on. Look at the Bollinger Bands in there. All right? I got the Bollinger Bands going on as well too and all this sort of stuff in traders. You know what? It looks really good and it looks really funky, doesn't it? It looks just, oh, you got all everything going on through here, right? You got all that sort of stuff going on. I've got how many? One, two, three, three moving averages as well too looking at there. And I've got uh, three moving averages. Um, you know, it's just a lot of stuff going on here, right? So I used to trade like this. And you know what? <laughs> I think I've got about four gravestones for my trading accounts that I blew up. <laughs> it looks good, right? Because I always thought, traders, I always thought that I need to be really clever. I need to be really lucky, right? That, that you know, about this thing called trading. Right, I need, I need to be really, really, really clever about this thing called trading. And so I, I needed to have and some, some of the channels, right? And this is one thing that like, I'm not having old people that do this, but if you watch some people that do some swing trading, you probably know who I'm talking about. They use a lot of indicators all the time. It's confusing, like which one do I use now? Do I use the RSI? Do I use the Kelter channel? Do I use this funky donkey indicator? Do I not? And so then you get so confused with the market. That's how I used to trade. Now, this is how I trade. Whoa. It's really, really, really simple, right? Because the main thing is the chart itself. What is the chart? The chart's the marker, right? The, let's keep the main thing the main thing. Because what are, all, what are all these indicators? They're just a mathematical calculation behind the actual price. So if we go and have a look at the price, we can start to see, oh, let's just use some simple, let's actually, let's actually remove all this crap because it's confusing the hell out of me. And every time I try to go long, there's things telling me that I shouldn't go long, right? And every time I go to short, there's things that tell me should I go short, what's going on here, right? Um, and so when we're looking at this, we can see how we've had this very big move to the upside and just using a simple rule that whenever you look at, whenever you're looking to get into a market, a, a stock or whatever, if it gets too far away, up or down, it's overbought, oversold, and it's a low probability trade. Why? Because history gives us a certainty that we are eventually going to get that pullback or a sideways movement, and we're going to wait for the moving average to catch up. That's why with me personally, guess what? My A plus trades are when we get a pullback to the moving average, and then I get and then I get my setup right. So really simple analysis, really really simple analysis. Now if we use we can so we use that from a direction, as in like we use it from how far away up or down is it, and as you can see we do get the pullbacks, and then if we go to look at something like silver, we also I also use the moving average like a stream, right? 
So I use it from a stream. If the if the stream is like this, guess what? It's pretty flat, right? So there really is no stream. There is no momentum. There is no rip. Okay. So if I'm if if I if if I try to jump in a market and the rip is doing that, what do I expect? <laughs> Right, so if you're if you're looking to get into a market and the rip is like this, the momentum is like this, then guess what? Guess what you're doing? You're jumping in something that there is no momentum, there is no rip, there is there's nothing there. So you're probably just going to get floated along, right? Not, not not much going on. But what happens if the stream? What happens? What happens if the stream is down? What happens if we got a big big current on the downside, big stream on the downside, right? A big rip on the downside. Then what does that mean? Well, it means that firstly, if we go by a little boogie board, right, and jump in on this and try to swim against it, then what, what happens here? We're, we're probably going to get drowned, right, because we're going to get dragged with it. We're trying to fight against it. That's why if we have a stream, what's the smartest thing to do? Let's actually draw a little little, little happy camper over here, right? Little, little, do, 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 right? Little happy camper. We've got our surfboard over here, right? Little, let's actually, let's actually put a B for Bumblebee on there, right? Right, little bumblebee, and we're looking to jump in. What are we looking to do, right? We're looking to jump in on here, and then we're just looking to ride with it, right? So what that means in simple terms is if the moving average is strong trending on a direction, we have a very strong current, and more times than not, the momentum of the market, the current of the market is down, so if you tr you may try to swim against it, swim against it, swim against it, and this is what the market does, right? It'll go. It, it, the market will have a, a move down, a move down, a move down, a move down, a move down like this, right? And then you and then it'll try to swim against it, swim against it, swim against it, and then right? It just it gets tired. Why? Because the mo the current is down, and that's what I've been saying about the mining sector. I've been saying about gold, and I've saying been saying about silver. And you can see as an example of silver, silver's almost now getting very close to making a double bottom ever since ever since I've been talking about these videos for the last few weeks. So there are a few analysis guys that you can do so well from trading, but one, let's simplify the process. Two, use something such as a simple moving average to give you a gauge on is it overbought or oversold or are we getting to a good time to be actually looking, looking for a trade. Second, thirdly, or fourthly, whatever that is. The next one is look at look where the moving average is, right? If I squeeze my charts up, if you're looking at the market like this, too close. Zoom my charts out like this, and if the moving average is, oh, if the moving, you can see here that when the moving average starts to get a very strong movement on 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 the downside, look look where the current is, right? Down, 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 right? And then we kind of, and then look what happened here. We started to flatten out, didn't we? And then look what happened. Nothing happened with the markets. We're still pretty flat through here. Nothing happened in the markets, right? Now we're going down, 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 right? So the best trades are when the moving average is, is actually trending down from there. Now, for me personally, traders, I use that, but then I use a price pattern in the markets from there, right? Again, that very first thing in the description, guys, I'm giving away free training. You can actually see the trading pattern that I use. But anyway, traders, I hope this helps you out and I'll speak to you real soon. Traders, I want to invite you to my webinar that I'm running today. And on this webinar, I'm going to share with you all the details to my number one trading system for the last 17 years and how I only trade one hour per day. Plus, also going to be learning the three secrets that I had to master over the last 17 years to generate a really good income. If you go to johnsfreetraining.com, or there should be a link in the description, click on that. Go over there right now, register. If you are struggling with the trading right now, I promise you this is going to completely game change because you're, you're going to understand why you are going backwards and why you're losing money. And then I'm going to teach you exactly what the system I use that gives me a really high percent win-loss ratio. So this is what I want you to do right now. Go to johnsfreetraining.com. Go over there, register for my webinar right now today because you're going to absolutely love it. Or there should be a link in the description. And I look forward to seeing you on the webinar. So go to that right now and I look forward to seeing you on my next webinar. Go to that right now. Go to johnsfreetraining.com. Go to that right now.